I have done multiple videos in the past uh, and even in the recent past about Brilliant. So I'm actually a subscriber to Brilliant because as I keep saying Brilliant alongside YouTube Premium are two of my best investments every month. Brilliant is a bit more expensive than uh, YouTube Premium so YouTube Premium is actually uh, five dollars or so and i've explained in previous videos why i think is one of my best investments one of the reasons being is that i learn uh, a lot on youtube i spend very little time on uh, uh, entertainment and i spend a lot of time watching lectures seminars and courses which is why i really need the uninterrupted time plus um, i don't actually want to use an ad blocker and stuff like that so um, another reason is that um, YouTube Premium allows me to actually uh, play videos in background on mobile. So that's actually really cool. So instead of actually trying to find software and keep on updating software when it comes to ad blocking and stuff like that, I'd rather just give them the price of like a very expensive coffee every month because it's it's an investment in myself and an investment in education in my education and in my development so instead of like uh, using that money on other stuff i'd rather be using it on self-improvement same as is with uh, brilliant which is actually probably 10 or 15 dollars a month so yeah that's that in a recent tweet so uh, for more videos on Brilliant, I've actually posted, there are a couple of them on my World of X channel. So as you can see, I do a lot of um, uh, algebra. And the idea is that I'm actually doing algebra challenges, algebra and math challenges, because I want to get to uh, learning machine learning from a bottom-up perspective. So we take on uh, machine learning from an approach of first principles so we go through the mathematics of it mathematics of it and uh, finally we get into algorithms and into coding and then into deep learning and so on and so forth so it's going to take a lot of time now uh, some of these videos uh, i mean a lot of them have been done from my tablet so um I'm actually going to keep on doing that, so make sure to look, if you're interested, look onto the World of X channel. Now, the reason that, the reason that I'm doing this video is that uh, I've actually, I've posted a recent tweet um, saying that for someone to understand business logic or logic vulnerabilities in cybersecurity is that they should understand algorithms. Now, uh... That being said, another way to better understand logic flaws is to actually uh, come from a developer's perspective. So if you've been someone who's developing uh, web applications or other sorts of applications, you'd be actually knowing a certain flow, how a certain flow should look like, permissions and all, all that stuff. And if you're actually a developer, you'll better understand where business logic, not necessarily business logic, but logic, application logic flaws might appear. So algorithms, not only are they good for cybersecurity, but for everything that has to do with computer science, whatever you're doing, if you own a laptop and if you operate a laptop, not, on, not only a laptop, but all of the devices that you're actually working with that are powered by um, electricity have some sort of an algorithm running especially if they have some sort of integrated circuitry so that's why uh, it and not only for that not only for the devices that you're using but also for actually life in general if you you are viewing life in a different perspective or through a different frame if you understand how algorithms work now um, I don't have any affiliation with brilliant or anything like that I'm just actually using them because 
one of the courses that I'm taking right now is algorithms fundamental because it's interactive which is why that's one of the reasons that I'm using this platform it's interactive and they have a ton of exercises when it comes to everything so if you just look into the algebra or let's look into the computer science if we look into the computer science we have additional practice for algorithms we have a lot of stuff in here plus there's also the stuff that's posted by people in the community so I'm not sure how to actually get there community wiki so you could get into the community and there are problems every single day posted they are interactive and you can actually learn so I, I could actually spend an entire day uh, on brilliant and never getting bored because I don't know I'm very curious by nature and um, hard sciences hard sciences and also arts and creativity I'm very passionate about both of these fields so if we go back and look into the algorithms course we can see that as of right now there are 22 interactive quizzes and 255 plus concepts and exercises so you have a few prerequisites before getting into this course uh, by the way as a side note I think that you can get into brilliant.org and have a free account and have some sort of a I don't know limited permissions so you might want to check it out plus I think uh, with a free account you get access to today's uh, stuff like for example for example let's see um, let's look at this one math and logic so it's a challenge and then you'd be actually answering the challenge you can view the explanation if you don't understand it and probably more um, more information about the topic of the challenge and you have a feature course here this is interesting we're gonna look into this I don't think I've seen the infinity course what's that so it should be in the mathematics here so in the mathematical thinking you have the infinity interesting now anyways algorithm fundamentals you have the prerequisites computer science fundamentals I haven't completed this one so have not completed it uh, I have neither completed the logic but I started it it's a little bit boring and I'm actually gonna go into it into I don't know hopefully I'm actually going to go into it because logic is really important not only for understanding science but also for as uh, one of the tools of thinking like thinking better than most people who operate on autopilot next steps after algorithms you have programming with Python and search engines as of right now Python is a really good language to learn stuff because you can build a lot with it very fast but I'm not really sure how long this is gonna be uh, like a valid statement because um, coding in my view and this is from someone who actually sells courses sells a Python course so coding is actually becoming more obsolete I think with this uh, entire no code revolution so you might want to check that out if you want to get into coding and the, the next uh, step would be search engines I'm actually interested in this so we have for the algorithm fundamentals we have one two three four four sections or big chapters first one is building block and you learn about pseudocode manipulating numbers repetition this is where you learn about the while loop then you have arrays which come and actually in different forms depending on the uh, coding language that you're working with so why can I not go and see 
Is there anything more than arrays? So arrays into the building blocks. Okay, then we have array algorithms. So this is how you would be working with lists in Python and other types of arrays or arrays in C++ or other programming languages. So you have searching an array, binary search, sorting an array. This is very useful for Python. And you have also insertion sort. The speed of algorithms timing programs with a stopwatch this is really important so i'm actually looking forward to getting into this you have counting operations all of these are very applicable with python best worst and average case i'm not sure what they talk about here so as you can see they also have videos let's go back Comparing algorithms, understanding the big O, interesting, and you also have the mathematics of big O. I have heard about the big O, it's, I think it's fundamental in algorithms, and I'm looking forward to knowing more about it. And then you have stable matching. So you now have the tools to understand the reason about the important algorithms including algorithms that can change the course of people's lives okay stable matching program using greediness deferred acceptance algorithm correctness so this is very very specific termination running time this stable matching chapter so to speak or uh yeah could call it a chapter or a section of the course variance who benefits this is the lengthiest so you've got a lot of stuff uh, in the algorithms fundamental course and uh, I'm actually probably going to post a video after I finish this course I think I've had one book or not I might be wrong let's see if I open up Foxit I have uh, this uh, this book which is mathematics for machine learning no this this doesn't actually talk about algorithms this either and this is bioactive molecules in food this is different things a whole different level so um there is i think there's a book that i want to discuss about when it comes to algorithms but that uh that's the issue for another video so uh i'm really to be honest brilliant is one of the best in my view the best places to actually learn stuff because so far and hopefully they're going to keep on doing the same amazing work they're doing right now there is a very very shit ton of material here um which is quite similar to attack defense labs these guys so far i'm really excited about the fact about what they're doing because they have a lot of stuff you can learn anything and everything and you can learn interactively and this is the magic word for me interactive because this is one of the best ways to learn by having your hands on whatever the concept that you're learning is so um this is also paid but uh, when it comes to attack defense labs i see i've seen that they have a lot of free labs as of right now so you could actually go ahead and sign in or sign up for free and you have like maybe these are 50 to 70 free labs so you can test all them out I think all of them are easy no you have intermediate and hard so you have all different levels and if you decide that you want to pay you might want to pay but uh, yeah this is about brilliant and about algorithms and how algorithms impact all aspects of your life not only 
uh, when it comes to career, skill, business, but also life in general. So I guess that's it.